I don't really have a video for today. I don't have a theme. I don't know Kiss what I'm going to vlog about. I have no idea. It can't be a good thing to work with a bottle of ibuprofen by your keyboard. These are my toes. This morning when I woke up, two of them felt really numb and tingly. Now, I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure that my shoulder has been talking to my toes and saying this bitch is crazy spending so much time at the computer. Which brings me to the, the topic of today's vlog, let's say self-care. Self-care is a thing that is really important, but that I have not mastered yet. I want to say that part of that comes from growing up in the South where like there's this culture that if you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. Like come hella high water, you're going to get it done even if it kills you. But sometimes this, this is legit killing me because I've heard that you need to take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. You got to help yourself so you can help the world. But I've always been like, that makes total sense, but I'm hella busy right now. So I'm going to get to that in a minute, except I'll never do when I keep putting my self care off and then I have angry toes. But I'm working on that. Today I'm gonna go get a massage for my shoulder because it's been killing me from editing. And normally I think of massages for rich people or people who are like living in luxury, but I'm telling you, this is, this is for survival. What you doing? I think the viewers might miss you. Just stuffing things in my ears. I know you're not supposed to do this, but I've seen good results. Anyway, so massage appointment is at 4. It's 2.52 now. And in the meantime, I think I'm going to do some work around the house. Specifically, I need to work on this living room because this couch used to be on that wall, but then we were like, oh crap, that's a heater, so that ain't going to work. And so then we moved the couch to this wall, took all the art down, except for that guy. And hi, Miles. Hey. And I got to put the art back over here. I also switched out this lamp for those lights because this was over us on the couch and sitting under it is just like sitting under sitting under the sun which actually this is like a good lesson in lighting so if you have a light that's just a bulb exposed and there's nothing in front of it that's always going to create really harsh light on a person on a subject and that's not very flattering but it can create a really intense effect if you want things to be really dramatic but we have this light coming from above, which never really creates nice shadows on a face. Light from beneath is also not advisable unless you are at a campfire and you're telling ghost stories. What were the name of those novels? Um, Go goosebumps. 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 Y'all used to keep me up at night. Anyway, yeah, so the best spot for light is usually like right in front or maybe 45 degrees up, but not above, not below. And then the more in front it is, then the more like straightforward and honest the subject is going to look and the more off to the side, the more dramatic. But again, this is just a light bulb with nothing in front of it. Anything that you put in front of a light source to make it softer is called diffusion. And that's a good thing if you're shooting a person because it's going to make them look prettier. It's like Insta Photoshop. Like right now, the light is really harsh and you can see it's already softening up. When we shoot interviews, we always use umbrellas. That's my favorite diffusion. I've tried all sorts of lights that are much more expensive and they never look as good as this. No umbrella? You can see it's really harsh. Umbrella. Hmm? Mm? Mm? Much better. You're gonna fall asleep during the massage. I am gonna fall asleep during the massage. I'm just very tired. My battery's blinking at me. How much would you like? Is it cold? Wait, you have all the keys? Yes. Okay, I'm walking out the door. Put my shoes on in the car. Headed to get the massage now. Just to be clear, I am a gigantic cheapskate. Yeah, when's the last time you got a massage? Never? Mm, I think one time I bought this personal massager, and no, not that kind of personal massager. Don't be nasty. Oh, yeah, yeah. you got it from Goodwill. Yeah, I got it. 10 bucks? Yeah. Honestly, I felt like that was splurging. What are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna try to get a library card. 
Do you want to talk about the importance of getting a library card? Oakland lets you take up to 40 items at once. That's amazing. That is amazing. Who, can, who can even read all that? Free museum admission? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll put a link to that below. Leaving the massage place now and I am feeling a little woozy and sedated, but in a good way. And look who it is. What, like how, how, what happened? You seem relaxed. How'd it go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, what time is it? 5.10. What is that? Oh, you got your card. How was the experience? It was nice. I really did want to film. I was sitting there and I was trying to enjoy my massage, but I was thinking when I was in the little circle, That's you know, right. the head circle, like that it would have looked so cool to do, Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. you know? Um, but I didn't want to be like, yo, you're doing an amazing job right now. I'm so relaxed, but could you just hold that right there <laughs> while I go grab my camera? Uh, yeah. Yo, that is so good. Target is like the only people that have microwavable coconut rice. And you're not gonna find any because we bought all of it. No, seriously. We have our own shelf. <laughs>